when you're first starting out, you're starting the program with a blank workspace. So let's say you're creating a new workspace. If you're not using one of the default ones and you want to create something for yourself, you're pretty much coming up here and going to new workspace. And then you're going to name it. Let's just say we're going to save it as my new workspace. Okay, and we'll hit that. And now we want to try and put some of the some of the items on it so that we can use them. Notice that there's a trading apps button that comes on here by default. And this, if it winds up being in your way later on, you can actually just drag it down here. You can actually put it on the top or one of the sides. It really doesn't matter. But I'm going to just move it up top for a minute. But what it does is it opens up a menu of buttons that you can click on. And a lot of these are the same buttons that you can put on, on certain toolbars. So let me close this a minute and just show you here. If I was to come over here and click View and came down to Toolbars, right now I have the main toolbar available, but what if I added the Tools toolbar? So what this is doing is it's giving me new Trade Manager window, new Analysis window, new Matrix window, new Chart window. So it's giving me a lot of the same items that are in this, and they're just putting them on little icons on the toolbar for quick reference. Or you can just have the Apps tab there. If you want more room on your screen, you get rid of the toolbars, and then you just open the Apps tab when you need it. And if it bothers you to even have the Apps tab here, you can actually come over here and just unclick it, and it'll get rid of it. Now, as far as putting a chart on, we can come over here and find the one that is Charts, New Radar Screen Window. Here it is, New Chart Window. And I can just click on it, and it'll create a chart. And I could also do it if I just came in here to the Apps and clicked on Chart Analysis Window. And notice that it just created the same thing. So let's say I wanted to create a third one here. We'll just use three charts for now. I'll just come over here and create one more. And by default, it's picking SPY, and it's giving me the five-minute chart. And if I want to arrange these windows, let's say I want to arrange them on the screen. If I come over here, I can click Arrange All. I can click Arrange Horizontally. I can click Arrange Vertically. And I can click Cascade them, where you just pick the one that you want and move it to full screen. I actually prefer, if I'm using three charts, I would rather have them arranged vertically, and then I can just maximize whichever one I wanted to look at more. Or I could just come over here and temporarily drag it over to be a little bit larger if I wanted. And then I can move it back over here if I wanted as well. All right, so you can wind up maximizing any of the charts that you want to look at and more uh, see a broader picture of. And what if you don't want, of course, you wouldn't want three spy charts that are all five minutes. So as far as changing the symbol, if you just click on the chart that you're working with and start typing the symbol you want, let's say I wanted the cues, I can just turn this one to the cues. I can leave that one at spy. I can turn this one to IWM. And I could look at a five minute chart on all of them. Or I could come up here, right here where this is the interval symbol. And I can come up here and just change this to the daily symbol. And notice I can change it to the daily on IWM. I can come over here and then change it to the daily on SPY. I can come over here and change it to the daily on the queues. Now, if you want to have all of the charts and the intervals stay the same, where let's say I wanted to look at all three charts on the daily, and then I wanted to look at all three on the weekly, you can link the charts by interval, and that's what this I button is here at the top of the chart. And if I just link the charts by interval, and I'm just going to pick, I'll pick the yellow. And if I make all three of them be yellow, then whatever I do to one of them is going to work on the others. Now, one, one note here. Notice that there's a yellow up here, yellow local interval link. And then there's yellow global interval link. And local just means 
this link will work with any chart on your current workspace. So if you have multiple workspaces, if you had a yellow link on the other workspace that was local, it wouldn't affect the local yellow links on other workspaces. But if you selected yellow global link, then that would then be yellow global. If you selected it on a different workspace or a different desktop, or it doesn't matter, it would update all of the yellow global links on any of the charts on any of the workspaces. So for now, let me just come up here and let's say I wanted to go back to five minute chart on all three of them. You can see that it quickly just changes all of them to whatever chart or time frame that you're really looking for here. And what if you don't want, what if you don't see the time frame that you're looking at? They do have on the default menu here, they do have tick charts. They have uh, 15 and 30 second charts. They have, you know, a bunch of breakdowns on one, two, three, four, five minute and a bunch of other intervals. You can have charts that are specialty charts that are listed down here. You can have when a certain number of shares are traded, it'll make a new bar based on a certain number of shares being traded. But if I went back to weekly here, I could also just come over here, click on a chart and start typing. Let's say I wanted a 78 minute chart. I just start typing in any one of them and I can come over here to the queues. Let's say I wanted 195 minute, just type 195 min and it'll update all of the charts the same way. So there's a multiple ways of doing the same thing. I could go back to daily by just typing daily here and it'll update them all to daily. Or again, you can just come back up here to this interval link, uh, not interval link, interval symbol here, the icon and click on it and change it to whatever you're looking for. This is just part one in a series of working with charts. And in other videos, I'll show you how to use, draw some of the lines on the screen and create a watch list and link your watch list to your charts. So as you click on your symbols, you can then update all of your charts automatically as you're going through a particular watch list. So I hope this helps and uh, I'll see you in the next video.